So I'm here with Kyle Franke. He is a member of the Cowlitz County Black Bears, but also he's a commit to play for the University of Oregon, the Ducks. And so first question I have for you is, you know, what made you choose the University of Oregon? Um, you know, I, I had five schools looking really hard at me. It was Pepperdine, Loyola Marymount, UC Santa Barbara, UCLA, and Oregon. Uh, just uh, visiting Eugene, I, I fell in love. Like, it's an awesome place to be, and they, they really take care of their student athletes, not just baseball. I mean, and there's a great culture there, and I felt like I had the best chance to make an impact early as a freshman at the University of Oregon, so that's why I chose it. Yeah, and I will say, you know, not a, not a Duck fan, but Eugene's a beautiful place, and yeah. And uh, PK or the park they play at is just fabulous. I love going down for summer league games. So, um, you know, next question I have for you. You know, you're about to go into college, play there. What things are you expecting to have to to focus on and kind of make adjustments from high school to college? Um, well, the thing about college now now that high school's over, baseball is more of a business now than just a leisure sport. So, I'm definitely going to have to cut back on all the the social time and you know baseball is going to be I'm going to school for school but baseball is also going to be my major you know what I mean so I'm just going to have to put a lot of time into, into playing baseball. Absolutely baseball takes a lot of time just like any sport in college mm -hmm. and then you know to get to this level to play at the level you're at to make the division one mm -hmm. you got to have people who are pushing you motivating you who in your life would be uh, who you consider kind of be your motivator and your inspiration? Um, definitely my dad. He's always been there from the beginning, you know. He's always telling me if I'm sitting on the couch, I need to go do something. And it's all unfair. It's because he loves me. So after any time, I have a bad game. And he's not really down on me, but he's more like, hey, this is what happened. Here's how to fix it. So, yeah, my dad's definitely been a, the biggest part in motivating me for sure. Awesome. And then you also got to play uh, in one of the perfect game tournaments, um, you said, in Jupiter, Florida. What was that experience like? That's a pretty big tournament down there. Yeah, it was awesome. It was one of the coolest baseball experiences I've been a part of just because you're playing a game in Florida and there's 100, 200 golf carts lined up behind home plate, all with the radar guns, watching everything you do. So it was really cool. It's almost like... There's so much, there's so many people there that you don't honestly feel feel pressure because it's like, all right, it, it's just a scout, you know what yeah. I mean? But it was, it was one of the coolest things I've been a part of, for sure. Yeah, kind of to the point where just, you don't even see the people back there. There's oh, so yeah, many of them. They just blend in. And then, you know, also baseball is a game of routines, you know, even superstitions, as some guys would put it. Is there anything, any kind of set routine or even superstitions that you got to follow before games? Um, honestly, I'm not a superstitious guy, like, at all. I'll, I'll just, I'll change stuff up. I mean, there's always a routine you do, taking ground balls a certain way, doing that kind of stuff. But, uh, you know, I, I think I don't like to think too much about that stuff. I like just to, just to let things happen, be in the moment, not, not think about so many other things, just live in the moment, be where my feet are. Absolutely. And then, you know, here you are with the Black Bears for the summer. And what things are you hoping to, to focus on, to work on? Is there a certain part of your game that you're trying to um, really develop? Or is it just kind of the all-around game? Um, definitely the all-around game for sure. But, I mean, it's definitely a, a step up from high school baseball, playing against juniors and seniors in college who are already guys on their team. You know, as, a, as an incoming freshman, it's almost like I'm expected to fail. But I'm not I'm, – I want to come out here and dominate. I just don't want to – fit in. I want to separate myself, even though I'm an incoming freshman. Absolutely. That's a good mindset. And last question I have for you is, you know, a lot of kids come out and watch the games, college and, and summer league. What advice do you have for them as they're trying to make it to this level and, and be successful? Um, my advice would be for the kids, like for showcases and stuff, that stuff doesn't really make you a better player. You, you become a better player by getting in the gym, taking rest when no one's watching. That's, that was one of the reasons why I got to where I am is because I, I outworked everybody. I wasn't always the best player on the field, but uh, my work ethic definitely separated me from the rest of the pack, and that's all it takes is having a, having a mindset and knowing that you're going to outwork everybody. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Kyle. Thank you.